Hello, dear friends of our Eternity Life Clinics community, and welcome to our new interesting AMA session. As you know, in our community, we will discuss the most ex exciting and innovative projects in the field of longevity for further partnership, collaborations, and project promotion. My name is Tatiana, and I'm a Chief Communicating Officer of the Eternity Lab Clinics and a moderator of today's AMA session. Today at our AMA session, we want to present the project Educational Course in Laboratory Diagnostics for Clinical Specialists and its founder, Anastasia Gubernatrava. Hello, Anastasia. Anastasia is a PhD graduate student of the Institute of Molecular Biology and Genetics, National Academy of Science of Ukraine. Dear friends, our agenda for AMA session will be the following. Our speaker will tell us about the project and then answer your questions. So if you do have an interesting question for our speaker, please put it in our Zoom chat. So I'm giving the floor to our speak speaker, Anastasia. Please welcome. Everyone, thank you very much, Tatiana, for the invitation. I'm very glad to be at this AMA session. And, um, I'll start with a little bit of background. I've been working uh, in the laboratory service for more than 10 years now. And obviously during my work time, I faced different situations with medical specialists uh, when they were um, kind of struggling with the uh, interpreting of laboratory tests or not understanding why they're getting like such results, why they change or not change that quickly. And also sometimes uh, medical doctors struggle to explain to patients why they see these results, why you should use this jar or this container and not that container. And um, sometimes it just ends up with, because the lab said you should do this. And um, of course, when medical doctors study at university, they cannot comprehend and embrace all of the information they are giving, uh, they are giving. And um, uh, during all the situations I've been to, I decided that it would be really helpful for medical doctors to have some course, educational course, when uh, where they can understand the some backgrounds of lab tests, some nuances of um, uh, interpreting them. And I'm not talking only about the, some routine tests, like routine blood tests, routine biochemistry, routine urinary tests, but also uh, about some tests that are not very often used. Uh, but they gain more and more and more um, interest, like because uh, now laboratory test system is developing a lot and very quickly, and uh, sometimes medical doctors just cannot follow that quickly uh, all the things they have to. And also, there is another problem that uh, not uh, only in Ukraine, but all over the world, there is a quite a big gap between the laboratory service specialists and the medical doctors. And uh, it's bad for the uh, quality of um, healthcare we can offer because this gap makes, sometimes leads to um, improper understanding of lab tests or for example, uh, uh, when medical doctors just don't know that they can do this or this or this test because uh, they cannot follow that quickly as I said. Uh, and that's why if we'll fill up this gap, which is actually my educational course is about to do, um, if we do this, if we close this gap, we can improve a lot the um, quality of the healthcare system. And of course, this will help uh, for um, inducing the longevity for people because the uh, amount of tests that uh, was done will be much more like uh, higher quality because of better understanding. So that's why I decided that it, it's nice to do this course. And also uh, before creating this, I was asking my colleagues, medical doctor colleagues, if they're interested in that. And actually uh, they said that this will be very nice for them because they're looking for something like this, but they cannot find uh, any course like this because all of the courses they have, they have uh, courses for their their specialty. For example, gynecologists have 
courses for gynecologists and uh, rheumatologists have courses for uh, rheumatologists. And all of the laboratory test courses are meant for laboratory specialists, for specialists like me who understand already what they are doing, the background of the test, the background of the biochemistry and this stuff. But it is very helpful for the medical specialists and still they don't have any course that will explain why it happens in laboratory in, in the way it happens with very understandable words without like uh, extra terminology. So this is the main reason why I decided to do this. Thank you so much uh, for your explanation, for your description of the project. And uh, actually our community, we do have uh, questions according to your course. Uh, maybe you mentioned a lot about a lot of them, but we want uh, for you to answer them more like vividly and uh, to give the uh, answers. So the first one is uh, Anastasia, what influenced your decision to start a project, an educational course for laboratory diagnosis for clinical specialists like what was the main reason for you the, the last one uh, the main reason was uh, actually my working experience because I can explain more widely for example uh, there is very famous test I think all of you did this this is C-reactive protein which is the marker of, uh, of in inflammation and uh, in uh, my uh, work time, we had patient, for example, which had really high uh, level of this protein in the morning, but in the evening, the uh, level was normal. And uh, it was very weird. And uh, I was the person who performed the, those tests. And I checked with different methods. I had two methods to check and everything was like that. But for the medical doctor, for example, he uh, asked me, why it was so high in the morning and that low in the evening. And also the patient was very concerned because he thought that maybe there was, there was some mistake and he took the medication for this uh, uh, result. Uh, but if you know the background of the test and the background of the biochemistry underlying uh, this test, uh, we know that C-reactive protein uh, lives in your organism only for eight hours. So if you had some stress factor, for example, in the morning and your organism synthesizes a lot of this protein, in the morning you have this very high uh, level of CRP. And in the evening where it's like 12 hours past already, it's all destroyed in your system. So this is not a laboratory mistake. This is not a mistake of the doctor. The doctor prescribed the right medication in the very beginning, but in the evening, you already don't need this. And this is biologically and biochemistry, like biochemically relevant. For the doctor, uh, they are not that proficient in biochemistry and lab test results. And uh, it's good if you, can, um, if you can understand this and explain this to the patient, but you know, uh, doctor, first listen a lot from the patient that you did wrong you did something wrong it's not relevant and they they have to go to the lab specialist and ask and find out why so uh, and there were like a lot of such uh, um, situations when for example doctors uh, didn't know what to do with some lab test for example or they had to go and uh, consult with you uh, with me with my colleagues which test should we use for this situation or for this situation. And it, it takes you time. It takes a lot of time. And it's sometimes, especially with COVID patients, it is very important. Uh, so after many of situations like this, I decided that probably I can do something uh, to uh, make it better, you know, and for it's better for the for all of us, for laboratory specialists, for doctors and for patients. That's a perfect decision of you, actually, for, for the humanity, I can say. Okay, thank you. Um, the next question is, uh, what is the duration of such an educational course, like approximately? Uh, for now, uh, for what I have now, the duration, of course, is just one day. This is actually separate lectures um, on different topics. It can be topics about the general rodent tests. It can be some deep tests like oncomarkers or hormonal system. 
because it is impossible to make everything in one day. And even if we're talking about only the general lab tests, uh, if we're talking about the chem biochemistry, this is one big solid lecture. And uh, it's difficult for any person to comprehend like something more than only this biochemical topic. For example, even if I wanted to do a uh, lecture with uh, root and hematology and root and biochemistry, it would be really, really a big amount of, of information and it's difficult to comprehend. So, uh, and I, I think, for example, that you need to wait at least two, three, five days just to digest this, you know, in your head for the comprehension, because there, there is no point in any education if you have, uh, for example, for a week, intense courses uh, in biochemistry, hematology, and uh, other topics, you will just not be able to, uh, to, to take everything in your head. So now this is only the separate lectures and you can have these lectures uh, in um, any time you want to. Uh, but uh, if, if I will decide to make this a course, like a big course, the lectures would be once per week. Because my main, my main goal is to uh, help people to understand and comprehend this information. So there is no point in being in rush. Yeah, but for now, like one lecture per day. Okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, what medical specialities will it be useful for? Uh, it will be useful for all the medical specialties uh, because um, all of the medical specialties, they, in that or other way, they uh, need laboratory test results. Uh, the difference can be that, for example, for the general practitioners, uh, uh, like therapy, like medical doctors, family doctors, uh, I think that the most useful uh, lectures would be about general information, general tests. Uh, but for the doctors who are working with, for, for gynecologists, for oncologists, uh, for uh, oncohematologists and other, and other specialities, um, uh, I'm developing the separate courses, uh, which would be devoted only for the, their specialties. And it can be uh, either like some general information or uh, advanced information, for example, for oncologists, the advanced information may be the information about the uh, personalized medicine in cancer field, for example, because it's like a very big topic and it's very developing now. And uh, new test systems are developing each year because it is like mainstream now in the scientific world. Uh, so uh, I think that the lectures about Personalized medicine in oncology will not be very useful for general practitioner, but all the general courses can be useful for all the specialities. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I agree with uh, what you've said. Uh, could this course potentially be integrated into the curriculum of medical higher education institutions? What do you think? Uh, potentially, yes, I think. Uh, as far as I know, for now, there is no uh, separate course on laboratory diagnostics in uh, medical universities. So this course, uh, I think, actually should be integrated. Uh, because if uh, we're talking about 20 years ago, when uh, like 20, even 10 years ago, uh, when the programs are created and modified, I mean, for the medical students, uh, to these days, our days, the amount of laboratory tests is much more, uh, we have so many of them. And uh, for medical students, it would be really nice if they uh, were educated in this field as they're educated, for example, in anatomy. Uh, because reading and interpreting of lab tests is crucial for many of the conditions. Uh, and uh, now, if you have like this very useful tool as uh, some deep lab tests, uh, for example, oncomarkers or like some cytokines, which were not known yet 10 or 20 years ago, 
I think it's like it can be uh, integrated, not maybe easily, but it can be and should be integrated. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and the the next question will be. Uh... The volume of laboratory tests is already significant. New ones appear every day. How to synchronize the educational course with the emergence of new tests, new methods, and approaches in laboratory diagnostics? What do you think? Uh, well, indeed, the amount is uh, rising, maybe not every day, uh, but very, very frequently, uh, very quickly. But I think that, uh, you know, some uh, very new innovative tests, like new methods, like very new methods, they do not appear every day. They appear maybe one once in five years or, or six years uh, because it's, conne like it's connected with uh, some technical stuff because all the laboratory assistants, yeah, and uh, specialists who work uh, with some uh, technology, with, uh, with some equipment. And uh, to create new equipment for the new method or like new method for new equipment is not that fast. Uh, so I think that um, um, all the courses like that should be, uh, should have major revision, only like really major revision. When something new appears, some new method, for example, I don't know, some new method of microscopy or some uh, new equipment that changes something in lab diagnostics, for example, makes something faster or something easier or uh, um, allows to do some tests that were not possible to do before, uh, some principally new, you know. So yeah, in that case, it should be major revision and so, like synchronization in that way. But for the uh, just new new tests, I think it's easier to uh, just add them into the election and, and, and that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Thank you. Anastasia, have you analyzed the competitiveness of your project? And what is the main difference from similar ones? What do you think about it? Uh, not as, uh, the competitivity like in uh, in numbers. Uh, but what I know, I uh, um, I asked my tar uh, target audience if they're interested in this uh, uh, in insurance for such courses, and uh, all of them, like literally all, uh, said that this would be really nice and they would like to attend these lectures, uh, and they were asking what I can offer and. Uh, uh, like how can it be helpful for them? Uh, they even like some of my my fellows, medical doctors, they gave me contacts of uh, groups, you know, we have like doctor groups and telegram or like, etc. And uh, I was asking in those groups where they have like 1000, 2000 um, people. And uh, I actually got like quite a big feedback from them and uh, many people are interested. And uh, I'm building now my, uh, like the, the main purpose for, for me is to sure it's based on the questions of real doctors, what they do not understand, what they have, uh, uh, quite like which questions do they have the laboratories to the uh, lab specialists? Uh, what is, what can some, can have some bias, for example, Example. And uh, I build my lectures not only on some general information, but on the information that is really needed by the by the doctors. Uh, and also, I know that, uh, as I told before, that there are no lab test course for medical doctors. There are a lot of plenty uh, lab uh, lab tests uh, course for the laboratory specialist, but somehow uh, no one things that it can be helpful also for the medical specialists. And this is what I've said about the gap between the lab service and the medical service. Uh, there is a really big gap. So I will try to, <laughs> uh, not to fix it, but to fill it at least in, in the way I can and in the amount, amount of can, I can. Yeah, that's important. Thank you. So actually my next question will be what uh, help or support from our Eternity Lab Clinics, DAO community, uh, do you need? 
Uh, first of all, of course, I would be grateful if there are any medical specialists, uh, if they could send me their questions, so what, what is interesting for them. Maybe they have some uh, questions um, for the general lab tests. Maybe they have some uh, questions about them, like mechanisms underlying any tests or like any, um, I don't know, quoting expression uh, about CRP, about any, any lab test, but I mean, not the technical uh, side, but the molecular. So if you need something, please send me the question. I would be grateful. And also, I think I would uh, like to have some uh, uh, lawyer consultation because, of course, there are questions of general law that I have to follow. But I don't really, uh, for now, uh, I would really need that consultation. So if it's possible, it would be nice. Yeah, sure. We'll be happy to help you with this. And about the questions uh, to you, we will put all the information in our Discord community where everybody can find uh, all your uh, contacts, your LinkedIn, or just feel free to send uh, the information to Discord or to put a question and uh, you will get it or I will forward it to you. Th that's fine. Uh, thank you. And... Um, Anastasia, what will be, uh, what do you think, uh, what will be the next steps in your project development for educational course? My next step probably um, will be creating of the uh, course course, not only separate lectures, uh, but some course with the comprehensible program. Uh, and uh, my aim is to do this uh, course for the um, uh, intern, intern doctors, because uh, the medical doctors who are already have like big working experience, they know things from their experience. Uh, experience. Uh, they really need a lot of information, and uh, they uh, need like like case offer it but uh yeah it, it takes a lot of time and it, to gather all of those those cases uh and to make this course in little bit in turn section mm -hmm. okay thank you for your answer and actually we have a few minutes left and uh, i will ask you the last question that's my, my favorite one that's a common uh, i want to know your point of view uh anastasia what do you think what technologies are the most important for life extension uh, well proper laboratory diagnostics is very important for life extension why uh, because um, if we develop some new lab techniques uh, that can say something about the um, organism, yeah, when some changes, I mean, any illness or cancer, which is uh, very uh, popular now, let's say, um, the, the, the earlier we know, about the, any changes in condition, in organism condition, uh, the more time and the more chances chances we have to fix it. Mm, and uh, well, for me, for me, uh, the most uh, life changing now would be molecular panels of diagnostics. It can be for cancer, it can be for inflammation, which is very uh, contributing to the um, uh, life sh shortage. Uh, much so the novel molecular panels with novel molecular markers uh, i think uh, would be really the uh, game changer in this field mm -hmm. thank you so much so thank you so much anastasia thank you to our wonderful speaker for an interesting discussion of the educational course in laboratory diagnosis for clinical specialists and see you on our new ama sessions and dear friends of our Eternity Lab Clinics community, thank you for your time and participation in our AMA session. 
As we promised, if you want to get a free NFT from our future collection, please join Eternity Life Clinic's Discord and send a message to our admin about it. Thank you, guys, and have a wonderful week and see you on our next summer sessions. Follow the information in our social networks. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.